deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. We have completed all of our prep work, and it's about time we go kill ourselves a griffin. Boy in clinics. Good lad, Master Witcher. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learned some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine woods. The Nelf Guardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word, and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room, and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. It's to my understanding that usually witchers operate solo. So this is probably... Get out of the way. It, Probably something weird or unusual where, damn, he can run fast. Unusual to have two of them operating together like this, but they know each other and, I guess, say, work well enough. Would have been nice if Vesemir did some of the legwork here, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> I got lost. Stumbling around in people's yards. Anyway, he's out here. Stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, we can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me. Once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Care Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Care Morn. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. We breaking with tradition? Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Watch out. Because this game is not a linear game, and by that I mean you don't start a level, you move your way through it, and then reach the end and move on to the next section, there aren't a lot of boss battles that you're going to end up fighting at the end of those levels. 
Though that doesn't mean there are no boss battles in the game. This griffin is one of them. Now, technically, I guess you could consider this to sort of be a hunt. Now, in the game, if you do a lot of side quests, you're going to end up doing a bunch of hunts. Normally, you pick them up at a notice board, and then you go and complete the hunt and go collect your reward. And a lot of them involve doing the same kinds of things we did setting up for this hunt here against the griffin, where we go and we figure out where it is, what it is that we're dealing with, all that, then we go and get our kill in. This one wasn't a side quest, though. This one was actually necessary. So, I guess it's a little bit different there. But forcing you to do this kind of thing at least once is a pretty good way of introducing a player to the game mechanic of the hunts. If you just had the notice boards, there's a good chance that a lot of players are simply going to miss it and never actually go on any of these hunts. So, you know, force people to do it at least once, and, well, there you go. Griffin got away. I don't really care for the way they tr introduced that crossbow into this game, though. Now, I had it for this hunt on account of the fact that it was a new game plus, and I carried the crossbow over from one, uh, one playthrough to the other. But you wouldn't normally get the crossbow until this fight. So you're sort of given this new gameplay mechanic, new weapon, new gameplay mechanic, and everything, and you're told, learn how to use it, learn how to use it quick, because you're gonna die if you don't. It's not strictly necessary, but definitely useful in this fight. Not bad. Not bad. Though, you could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the griffin's head to the black ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. What the hell does he mean I could improve a few things? I was doing better than he was. And care to elaborate what it is I could improve? I mean, come on. Asshole. <laughs> Alright, one of the things you get from the hunts, though, are you get the trophies. Now, you see a trophy hanging on the side of Roach there. Roach being named after the fish, not the insect. You get trophies that you hang there, and it gives you some special perk. Now, I'm not sure what perk I'm getting from the thing hanging on the side there. It's been a while since I set that up. But it's just some little buff you get. It's the kind of thing I actually ignored most of the time through my first playthrough of the game. So, uh, hopefully I'm a little bit more tentative on this one. Now, we got our kill in, so we're going to go hell back to the Nifgardian um, outpost here and try to collect our reward. Is that a bridge or an aqueduct, I wonder? Hmm. Uh, I guess... I guess a bridge. Yeah, it's a bridge. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten! No, I, I didn't know! So, a fool! Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so! No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! A moralist! And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. 
Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. I guess the nice guy routine kind of wore out its welcome. He came across as polite and understanding beforehand, and he turned into a real asshole once he got the grain and found out, well, it wasn't exactly what he wanted. Having the guy whipped was a bit much. Uh, in fact, a lot much. But, yeah, I, well, I can't defend his actions. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? Oh. 